In this video, let us see how to service the LCD burnout screen and to make it as a new screen by changing the polarizing film. LCD usually contains two polarizers, one on the front side and the other on the rear side of the display. The rear one will have a reflective surface in addition to the polarizing film, but you can use a white paper instead of a reflective surface. The backlit emits unpolarized light. When the unpolarized light travels through a polarizer, only the light having a specific orientation will pass through it. If the rear film was set to allow vertically polarized light, then only vertically polarized light will pass through it. This vertically polarized light then enters the liquid crystal layer, which is electronically controlled layer in a normal LCD. When electricity is applied, the liquid crystals will become straight. So now it will not twist the light orientation. Hence, the vertical polarized light from the rear polarizer will pass through liquid crystal without any deviation. But since front polarizers is aligned horizontally, the vertically polarized light from the liquid crystal will be blocked by the front polarizer so that the segment will appear dark. Now let's get started to service the defective LCD screen. First, carefully remove the PCB board from the unit. And now you can see the LCD HMI display. The burnt out one you can see. The center portion is got faded. And now to remove this LCD frame we need to remove all these latches, metal latches that is holding the PCB metal frame. Now take a small nose player like this and carefully straighten the latches that is holding with the PCB. See that you don't damage the tracks. Now that we have straightened all the latches, now carefully remove the protection tape and you can slowly push the levers inside. Once you gently push it, the metal frame will get loosened. This metal frame holds the LCD display and you can see the burnt out area. And this one is a white background wherein the backlit will be transmitted and you can see that a backlit bulb here. You can now see clearly the central blackout faded portion of the LCD. Now we have to remove the thin rubber like material from the LCD screen. Often called as zebra strips or elastomatic connectors. These are very thin vertical conductors that connect between flat PCB pads and things like LCD pads on the glass. This has to be removed very carefully. Finally, we have separated the LCD completely. The first step is to remove the polarizing film carefully. For this, you must use a cutting blade and remove the layer carefully. This activity has to be done with utmost care and see that you don't break the glass. Gently remove the polarizing film slowly. By holding the LCD glass, you will get a grip on it. So gently remove by holding the LCD glass with your fingers. Now I have removed completely the rear side polarizing film. While observing the glass, you can see the polarizing film materials getting stuck on the surface of the rear side of the glass LCD glass panel. So using a blade, gently scoop off the adhesive material that is stuck up on the glass. Be careful while doing this activity. Slowly remove the material that is struck by scooping off using a glass. Then gently remove the front side polarizing film as we did earlier. Slowly, slowly hold the glass and remove the polarizing film.
Now I have removed the front side polarizing film too. Now you can see I am scooping off the polarizing film material that is stuck on the surface of the glass. This activity has to be done with very much and utmost patience. You can use the nail polish remover or isopropyl alcohol to remove the adhesive material that is stuck on the surface. This will loosen the adhesive material that is stuck. So as you clean it, you can see the glass is completely clean. The LCD surface is completely transparent. After that, please take a dry tissue and wipe off the dirt and the wet chemical that is stuck on the surface of the LCD. Wipe it off completely and see that it is very much transparent. Now cut the polarizing film as per the size of the removed film. The polarizing film has two surfaces, one has the protection side and the other has the adhesive side. This adhesive side has to be pasted over the surface of the LCD display glass. Now carefully clean off any mild dirt that is stuck up on the LCD surface and then place align it over the LCD screen and slowly keep pasting it by removing the bubbles. See that no bubbles comes in between the glass and the polarizing film. Once you have completely pasted it, please remove off the protection film that is over the surface of the polarizing film. You can see the adhesive side and the protection side. After assembling the LCD screen, you can see, you can tilt the polarizing film and see for getting the exact contrast image that is clearly visible. So as I tilt the polarizing film, you can see the image is getting very much clear and very clear and the contrast is getting changed. And now cut the polarizing film by marking the aligning angle of the polarizing film. Now place it over the glass and see. The image will be brighter and this has to be pasted over the surface of the LCD screen. Now again stick the polarizing film over the surface of the LCD screen. Gently peel off the adhesive layer and keep sticking the polarizing film by removing the bubbles. See that no dirt is stuck in between the glass and the polarizing film. Once you have done with pasting the polarizing film on the both the sides, remove off the protective layer that is over the surface. See that there is no bubbles inside this. Now clean the elastometric conductive material that connects the LCD display and the PCB. Clear also clean the ridges of the LCD display and the seating surface well. Now reassemble the PCB with the LCD metal frame. Using the nose player, tighten the latches by slightly bending it. See that you do this carefully without causing any damage to the tracks of the PCB. See that all the latches are held tight in position as this is the one that holds the display with the PCB. Now reassemble the display with the HMI and then power on the unit. Now you can see the image is very much clear and it is as new as it is. The LCD display is now serviced and it is ready for use. You can see the letters 
are clear and very much clear with contrast.